Hey everybody, this is Jake, the wellness director at SSP Wellness and I'm here for your quarantine, getting ready to go live with some basic calisthenic uh, postures or uh, I guess they're, they are movements to uh, check in for hiccups and joint mobility. This is gonna be really, really tough for me. I haven't done any really measure of calisthenics. It's been a lot of weightlifting for a long time, so we'll see how tight I've gotten. I hope that uh, several of you guys join along with me and I'll do my best to explain some uh, some modifications to these. I have a, a chair outside of frame that I'll be bringing in the frame to go over some of the positions with dips and uh, with the push-up position. So we'll get started here in just another minute or two. Wait for a couple more people to get on. Excuse me, Yodi. It's mine, not yours. Rat. Stay hydrated. You gonna come get in the frame? Thought you were gonna get away. Uh, gratuitous cat oh, selfie here. Oh, don't like that, do you? This is Surter. He's gonna probably end up helping. All right, get out of here. Yeah, you move. All right, <clears throat> all right. It's one o'clock. Here we go. So. So these uh, supportive postures or movements we're gonna do today, uh, we're gonna be working on holding our body stable, leave that alone, holding our body stable in positions below our center of gravity. Uh, and I'll go over and explain that a little bit in greater detail, but for now, let's just start with warming up some of our joints like we, uh, we do in every video, every video. We're gonna be really putting our joints to the test here today. So gonna start with some hand flares. Do your own warm-up if you don't want to do this one alongside with me, but uh, this one seemed to treat me really, really well, and we will be on our hands and our feet and quite a few of these positions, so. I apologize ahead of time if my uh, partner in crime interrupts us. I'm gonna go ahead and back up and get into frame all the way. I also would advise not wearing uh, tight-fitting clothing when getting into some of these, these positions. Also, we're doing no music today, so I can be as descriptive as possible. Some of these positions can be uh, really complex, and we're gonna go over some specific mechanics, so we're gonna avoid having any uh, background distra distractions. Hopefully he listens and stays out of frame and doesn't bug me too much. Remember when we talk about some of these movements, it's easier to perform these in single joints as opposed to two, because when we do two, we collapse our shoulder blades together and we really limit that mobility. Hope you guys are doing good and staying safe during all of this. Hope you guys are checking out the Monday, Wednesday classes as well. Dustin and Kelsey are doing an incredible job. We're moving into some higher intensity things and this one's definitely gonna be moderate to high to vigorous intensity for me. Do you guys? Feel free to make fun of me in the comments and stuff like that when you see me struggle along. I haven't done any of these things in quite some time and I know that bridge position is really gonna take its toll on me. Oh. So the things that these are really, really good for, not just checking in to see if we have any uh, hiccups with mobility with our shoulders, wrists, low back, hips, knees, uh, a variety of different things but they really help to build up tensile strength inside of the tendons and really prepare our joints for some of that weightlifting and some of those higher intensity things that we have been showing people how to do. Whew. So the first one we're gonna go in today once we get nice and warmed up is gonna be what I call a push-up position. Uh, some people also call it like a, a high plank but uh, there's gonna be some very, very specific things we do to make sure our center of gravity is above us, which is gonna put all our muscles into very, very tough positions. Um, so the main challenges you guys are gonna deal with today, if you guys do this alongside of me, is number one is to stabilize with the muscle groups that are gonna be active in these different positions and uh, remembering to breathe because as we go into these, your core is gonna be tight throughout almost every, if not every single movement that we do. And that really, really makes it challenging to those big belly breaths. Hopefully you guys did my video last Friday. You guys will be very familiar with some of these mobilizing movements.
just a few more of these. I'm gonna start working into our, our trunk. Remember with this, we're clasping those hands together and pushing our shoulders as far forward as we can, getting that stretch in between them. If you're doing these properly, these honestly will really warm up your core, about the core temperature. Oh, I know he's not gonna stay out of frame this whole time. Remember, if you're doing this chest, chest lift, it really can help to push our thumbs together to prevent any pain in that ulnar or medial side of our wrists as we're bridging up. I know I'm gonna need this mobility for these exercises. This is something you really can do probably every other day and you'll be surprised with how fast you'll progress and gain stability in some of these problem areas in, in our Especially, I think my shoulders are gonna be an issue today. Hey, how are you doing, Sherry? Just a couple more of these. All right, start moving into the trunk. So we're, gonna, we're not gonna hold these poses right now because we're warming up for exercise. If we were stretching afterwards, we'd be holding all these poses for 30 seconds to a minute piece, but because we're getting ready to start physical activity, you don't want to do stretch, st static stretching because that actually increases the rate of injury. We're not really trying to stretch out all those muscles and everything. We're really just trying to get them nice and warm for what we're about to go after here. Really hope you guys are taking these warm ups seriously because some of these can be pretty, pretty challenging. All right, let's warm up those hips just a little bit more. Remember, you can do these seated or standing. Doing those figure eights, warming up that hip. Remember, you can sit down and draw them as well. Make sure you're seated on the edge of your chair if you're doing it. A higher chair will also give you a little bit more range of motion. Already getting warm. All right, let's get these ankle rolls in. Make sure we do both sides. Rotating both ways. All right, so here we go. To start out with today, we're gonna go into tabletop and we're gonna elevate our knees and get up into push-up position. So this is the standard high plank right here, right? But the idea behind some of these calisthenic exercises is once we get into that position, we're going to raise our center of gravity and push our shoulder blades forward. We can't be sunk down into the shoulders and we can't have our lower back below our hips and our shoulders. We need to elevate the shoulders all the way up, pushing them and then bridging our back our center of gravity is actually going to be located way up here. We're gonna try and hold this one for about 30 seconds. Make sure you're breathing, make sure you have that full extension. Try to keep the neck relaxed. Now, here's the things that I'm talking about. Number one, our core is very, very tight here and our shoulders are fully extended, but it'd be so easy for me to lock those elbows out it's gonna take a lot of the pressure out of the joints that we're, or out of the muscles we're trying to use. So keep them soft, keep, them, keep a little bit of a bend in them while keeping that core elevated. Don't forget to breathe. All right, come on down. 
I see everybody's still here. Hey, how you doing, Ryan? All right, this next one, we can actually transition from this into our first motion. Our first motion is going to be, or our second motion is going to be the side plank. So once again, with that side plank, we can't have those hips down all the way. We have to also be extended and pushed away from the body. But our center of gravity needs to be above that joint that we're working. So we got to really push up. We're extended to the shoulder. We're extended through the hip. Glutes are tight. Ankles are stacked. So far, so good. No major hiccups. But the next one is going to be bridge. I'm already sweating. Keep that bridge. Keep breathing. All right. There are two different positions for the bridge pose. So you guys have heard of tabletop, which is done like this, right? Which is where cat cow comes from. Bridge is actually the inverse of that. The idea is to have the shoulders stacked on over the wrists, elbows long but not locked out like this. And we have to come up into this position here, try and collapse those shoulder blades together, and then raise the core above the shoulders. Don't lock the elbows. Don't forget to breathe. You can actually make this more challenging. Wow, that is tight. By actually extending the legs out in front of you which that is way too much for me right now. Keeping the core high. Hope you guys are joining along with me. Misery loves company. Going for 30 seconds. Don't lock those elbows out. You can find limiting factors inside of your hips here by not being able to get your core high enough or your shoulders not being able to rotate far enough back. Wow. I really, really am tight through here in my anterior deltoid. So getting that full rotation backwards is quite challenging. The next one is gonna be dip position. Here's where we're gonna do that chair. So, I'm gonna bring this into the frame here our water so there's gonna be a couple ways we can vary the intensity of this first off we're gonna bring our body upright not locking our elbows but we have to make sure that when we're pushing up we aren't sinking into our shoulders everything is going to be completely elongated but keep the elbows from being completely locked out we're stabilizing with the muscles not with those joints does unrepairable damage to our joints when we lock those things out like that. We don't want bursitis or any of those other fun inflammatory issues. So here we go. We're elevating up. Let me get a better balance here. This is gonna be wobbly. Shoulders are pushed all the way forward. Elbows are not locked out. You can leave your feet on the floor at first. If this is challenging enough, just really pushing up, trying to push your head into the ceiling. Or if you have enough stability, you can then take your entire body weight into it. Don't lock those elbows. This chair, not the best chair. Whew. And down. Remember, you can keep your feet on the floor if that is too challenging for you. So next one is going to be pike position. This will be the fifth position we go into. We're going to rotate through these a few times and see if we about get into the actual motions themselves. So with the pike position, the main thing you're going to try and do, and I would really suggest having something at a certain height and based on the height, it's going to make the challenge I mean, a little bit easier, a little bit harder. Instead of doing a handstand position, you're going to put your foot into an elevated object. You're going to extend up and try and get your body completely vertical with your torso and your shoulders. You're going to extend all the way up into it. Make sure your shoulders are not depressed down where your ears are by your elbows. Push them all the way up as far as you can.
So many things might look easy. I'm having a hard time even talking through them. Don't lock those joints out. Keep those elbows soft. Push away from the earth. And come down. That's round one. We're gonna try and do three or four rounds of these and then we'll get into some of the actual movements themselves. Oh, I am already suffering, guys. You guys better be doing this with me. Misery loves company, I'm telling you. I'll, I'll feel a whole lot better. Some may tell me you're coming alongside of me on this journey. Anybody in chat? Well, I'm gonna pretend you did. Thank you, guys. Back into push-up position. Go ahead and get this out of the way now. Hands are gonna be flush to the floor. Elbows are gonna be soft. Extend the body out to where it's almost completely flat. Elevate or arch the back. Keep the elbows soft. other side for our side plank this time. So you guys are going to have to look back. Actually, I'll turn around. Here we go. Here we go again. Once we get up into that side plank position, we need to bring our core up higher than the rest of our body. Flex down here. This is going to be higher than our hips and our shoulders. We're going to make sure that our shoulder is extended away from the body. seconds yet. Very good. Time to go back into that bridge pose we all love so much. Remember, you can have your knees directly over your ankles or you can extend them far out to make this more challenging. I don't think this needs to be any more challenging for me today. We're going to stack our shoulders, our elbows, and our wrists. We're gonna elevate up. We're gonna make sure we don't lock those elbows out. smokes oh, dip position next now if you don't have a chair like that you can always complete this on the side of a couch you just won't be able to get your entire body weight into it the idea would be get propped up push the body away push the crown of your head into your ceiling don't lock those elbows out Keep that breathing going. Very good. Wow. We're almost 20 minutes into this program. I'm Eric and I am already suffering. Don't forget to drink water. in the pike position. Now remember, if you're super advanced, you can always do this as a handstand position up against a wall or on dip rings.
Push away from the earth. Don't lock the elbows out. good. Ooh. I'm going to take about a 30 second breather. Just do some breathing here before we move into round three. I'm expecting to hear in the comments how challenging this was for you guys as well. You guys ready for round three? Can you believe this is still just the stabilization? We're supposed to get into the full movements. All right, here we go. Push up position first. Hands below the shoulders, elbows not locked out. Feet back, body straight. Arch that core up, push away from the earth. To do both sides because we're going to go through three rounds both sides of the side plank make sure those joints are stacked ankles are stacked push up elevate that core drive away from that shoulder If you ever feel lightheaded or feel like you're getting too much pressure through your forehead, please take a break. These static holds cause a lot of a high increase in blood pressure. <sighs> to the other side. <sighs> Thank you, Kelsey. I'm glad you're doing the third round. Make sure you go back and do the first and the second. Here we go. Stack that joint. Push that core up. And let ourselves down. Everybody's favorite, at least my favorite, bridge. Oh, okay. Stack those wrists, those elbows, and the shoulders together. Make sure the elbows aren't locked out. Bridge up. A lot of nice 90 degree angles. Make sure that core is up. Glutes are tight. Elbows are not locked. Whew. This is a tough one for me. Remember, sticking those legs out like this makes it more challenging. I don't need that in my life. Not right now. You still with me? Still gotta do the pike position one more time.
Looking for those straight lines, but not locking those joints out. Whew. Spread those fingers apart. Bridge up. Pushing away from the earth. Don't let those shoulders get depressed. And I don't mean sad. Check in with those joints. Make sure they're still soft. And come on down and rest. Holy smokes. Well, we're about 30 minutes in now. Whew. We're going to show you what those postures are good for. We're going to do a, a round of all those movements now. And then I'm going to take a bath. All right. So here we go. First one is going to be that push-up position. But now we're going to complete those full range push-ups. Not locking up those joints at the top of each motion. First one's first. Hands below, below elbows. Elbows below shoulder. Fingers spread apart. Hands about shoulder width apart as well. Lower ourselves down into them and up. At the top of those motions, don't lock those elbows out. All the way down, up and open. Open those shoulder blades. good now that side plank position same straight lines with those joints ankles stacked you can stagger one and one front and one behind if you need to on this one all we're going to do is drop that hip to the ground and push back up Keeping that shoulder driven away at all times. One more. Very good. Opposing side. I imagine some of you guys are melting with me right now. Probably should have closed the windows and turned the air conditioning on. Here we go. Bring the hips down, keep that shoulder extended away. Two, three, four, five, six, just two more, seven, and eight. Very good. Oh, lost our programming. There we go. Getting ready to go into that bridge position. Stack those joints, keep them soft. It's just gonna be a hip thruster. It's just gonna be all the way up once. Keep those shoulders pushed away at all times. Two. Three. Four. Keep those elbows soft. Five. Working the entire posterior chain. Six. Seven. And eight. Very good. Dip position. We'll get the chair back out for this again. And make sure we burn it out on this set here. So once again, feet can be planted on the ground. If you're feeling really froggy, you can suspend your whole body. So this is how it looked like the other ones. One, two, your body. This is not actively doing this work. It's all done inside of the shoulder girdle. Three, 
four. This is what it would look like without that. One, two, three, four. All right. Now time for the final position, pike position. These are gonna be a bear. Just hang in there, we're almost done. We're almost done, we'll go into some cool down stretching. Once again, line all those joints up, push up. From here, we're bringing the crown of our head down to the floor, pushing back up, fully extending away without locking the elbows. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woo! I don't know about you guys, but that was tough. Let us know how you did in the comments below. We're gonna move in some of those actual stretches now. Starting with the forearms and the wrists, work our way to our shoulders and to our back. And then finally our legs. First one, we're just gonna stretch out that wrists and forearms. Same from the last video, extend them forward. Careful with that thumb placement. Only extend your forearm out as far as you can. You need to turn the fan on. Very good. Clasp the fingers. Push away. Open that shoulder up. Get a bridge back. Remember, those thumbs can really help save that side of your wrists. Bridge. That was a good workout. Keep that chest lifted. Good. We're gonna go ahead and stretch out the neck a little bit here. I'm gonna sit on this hand here. I'm gonna lean away from it. Just fall and stretch out that neck and that shoulder. I'll turn toward you for the next side so you see what this looks like from the front. Remember, just from the video before, we want to fall and surrender into these stretches. We don't want to push into them. That passive point of stretch. Very good. Okay, we're going to stretch out the front of the shoulder now. Remember, we cross over. Make sure that hand is on the deltoid. Reminding it to be pulled away from the ear. Hug it towards you.
or chill. You're going to shake someone's hand, but don't shake someone's hand right now. Put it away. It's okay for those fingertips to go numb. We're putting a lot of pressure on some nerves that travel through this area. Also, a couple major arteries. Very good. Remove some of the standing stretches. That forward fold. Thank you guys very much for joining me today. And I hope that you did your best to complete the workout. Be very, very careful, especially with that elbow joint through these motions. Don't forget to stretch piriformis. If you need a more detailed description of the stretches that we're performing right now, please look for last week's Friday video, which is all about these stretches. Finally, runner stretch. Tune in with us next week. Monday we'll be continuing balance and flexibility with Kelsey Hare. Wednesday will be a weighted get fit cardio class with Dustin Heiser. And then Friday will be suspension training with me. Thank you guys. God bless. Stay safe.